Hello YouTube. I've been asking myself this very question. Am I ready for a power outage? I answered not as much as I'd like to be. So I went down the rabbit hole to figure out what it is that I wanted to do to be more prepared. So I'm going to take you guys through this walkthrough, just trying to figure some stuff out. I got some items I'm thinking about purchasing, not quite sure what route to go. There are a lot of options and this holiday season for 2024, a lot of sales, which is great, but also makes it difficult to figure out what to grab. So first of all, what is it that I want to be able to power? So let's go down. I got a short list to show you guys. Bear with me working off my wife's computer here. Backup power needs. So gas generator was an option or a battery powered station. A lot of sales on that right now. Either way, what I need to run or what I'd like to run during a power outage is be able to save the food that's in my fridge. How about be able to run a microwave? I do have uh, two young children and a wife and I do work. So I want them to be able to have food uh, while I can help them either get food or just get by until the grid comes back on. How about some coffee? Coffee is important. I'm a coffee drinker. My wife's a coffee drinker. And depending on when you discover the power going out, it may be really early in the morning. And though it may not be necessary for some, I bet you that you'd feel a lot better with a cup of coffee. And then worst case scenario, you lose power and it's the dead of winter. So what are the heating options? Now, in the short amount of research that I've done, a gas power generator is going to provide a lot more power, but it does also require more maintenance. And I've never owned a gas generator before, so I'm currently leaning towards a battery power station. A little bit less maintenance, a little bit easier uh, to use, user friendly. So we just got to figure out what my options are. So I went digging a little bit and like some of you, most likely I have heard of this company called EcoFlow, and here are some options for you there. Now, when I was looking into it, I didn't know what the different sizes were or things like that, but I just wanna take you guys down this little rabbit hole with me, just in case you're trying to figure out the same answer. What is it that you should get? All right, now budget does play a big role into what you're gonna be able to buy. And if you notice here, what I've figured out is the EcoFlow Delta Pro 3 is kind of the current top of the line for EcoFlow, but that is a whopping $3,200. That is a very powerful unit. The cool thing about this one is that it can run 240 volt appliances by itself. And I know originally this guy over here, you would need to run two of the units in parallel with an additional box to be able to run 240 volt, and then you get it that way. Where this new guy here, it could do it by itself. That's very impressive, but also very expensive. So that one was out of my price range. So we're just gonna scroll a little bit. This guy is a really good sale, and uh, for $2,000, um, I do believe it originally it was over $3,000. Um, still out of my price range, and so I kept on scrolling and what I found was something a little bit more reasonable to get started. The EcoFlow Delta 2 at $550. That one can put out 1800 watts and it's got a thousand kilowatt capacity. Now you do have to figure out how much power you need to be able to run each individual item that you're thinking of. And I did some homework to be able to see this on your appliances. If you're not able to see it on your appliances, what I would recommend is getting a watt meter, something that you'd be able to plug into your wall and then your appliance to that item that is plugged into your wall. And while it's running, it reads out the wattage draw. So then you can try and figure out how much output you need. Now you'll notice this is EcoFlow Delta 3, can also output 1800 watts and this has the same amount of capacity as the Delta II does, uh, almost twice the price there. Now, the difference is that this is the newer model, and that's probably why this one over here is heavily discounted. Now, the other option, kind of the Goldilocks in the middle, 
is the EcoFlow Delta 2 Max. This can put out 2400 watts and is double the capacity, 2 kilowatt hours. Now, you can expand the smaller one. It does have an additional battery port. It has just one. This is just a quick rundown. The EcoFlow Delta 2 Max has two expandable options. You can either do two additional batteries and you can have an additional two kilowatt hours per battery, getting up to six kilowatts if that's what you need for a longer runtime. Or this has a neat little option that you can add the smart generator and a battery. So 4,000 kilowatt, you'll have the unit plus a battery equals 4,000 kilowatts. And then you can add the smart generator, which can be dual fuel run off of gas and propane. And then you can back up that power station without even needing to get into the solar panels yet. Because the solar panels, if you haven't looked into it yet, is like a whole another rabbit hole to get into. Now, I'll stick with just this portion for now. And we're going to keep going. So again, we have the the Delta 2, I would say, is probably the bare minimum entry level that I would go with. And then if you wanted the newer model, then it would be the EcoFlow Delta 3. In my opinion, the only reason to go with this one is that you would be able to do faster solar charging if you're really dedicated to getting the solar panels and not a gas generator. And then the Delta 2, double the capacity in a single unit and then you're able to expand it more than the EcoFlow Delta 2. Now, if you scroll down, you'll see here are some other models. Now, from what I know, these are older models, and I wouldn't want to get into these just because I don't want to kind of get left behind with options in the future. I'd like to be able to add to my system as my budget increases and to be able to be more prepared. All right, so that's EcoFlow. Now, I heard of another brand, Blue Eddy, and they're also having a lot of sales going on right now. And you can see there's a little countdown here for how much time they have left on their sales. So I'm trying to make a decision quick. Now, just to get to their product line really quick, I am probably going to be in this second camp. There's a first camp here, the lower power output options not quite what I'm looking for. You can see that 1000 watts here is the highest in this category. And a microwave alone, if you don't know, is going to pull over a thousand watts, unless you have one that is specifically pulling less than 1000 watts. But I don't want to have to buy all new appliances. I want to be able to use what I currently have. So I'm going to be in this camp, something that can pull a little bit more. Now this first one here, AC 200 L 2400 watts, 2000 watt hours so i would call this kind of that middle size like ecoflows delta 2 max and then if i were to get a delta 2 the uh, smaller ecoflow option i was looking at i would say that was comparable to the blue eddy ac 180 right here and you can see that below that there's an ac 200 max this is going to be kind of like the older version of the ac 200 l slightly different but I would recommend the AC200L just from what I've seen in other reviews. The AC240, I think, is an interesting option. It's still on the higher price side of things. It's kind of a newer unit. Uh, so I'm going to be thinking about AC180 and the AC200L. Now, just a quick reference. The AC180, can you can add a battery to it, but it's not going to be the same as what the EcoFlow Delta 2 could be where you add it through a special port where when you're charging the unit, it also charges the battery at the same time. Where this one, you can add a battery to this, but then you have to charge it up separately. The AC200L, it's gonna be roughly double the price as the AC180, but you can add up to two expansion batteries to this, just like the Delta 2 Max. And the benefit to the Delta 2 Max and the AC200L and the Delta smaller EcoFlow you can charge and discharge the extra batteries along with the unit at the same time, whether you're using solar um, or AC wall or a generator, gas generator. So I kind of like that option for expandability in the future. Now, when I was looking at these and the AC 180, 
I came across one that was kind of in between. So it's an AC-180P, and we're gonna go over to that now. It's gonna be right here in their premium series. They do have a bunch of options, but the AC-180P to me was very interesting. And we're gonna click onto that. Now this has the 1800 watt output, 1400 watts uh, bank, and the original AC-180 just has just over 1100. So this is kind of battery capacity wise in between the AC-180 and the AC-200L. Now on here, it's showing $900 very close to what the AC200L is asking for. Now, I did see another sale that is cheaper than this. I don't know if it's still listed, but we're going to disregard that for now. But I am very interested in this one because it has a larger battery capacity, and I do like that. And what I'm trying to figure out right now is how much capacity do I need overall? Am I going to be okay with just this smaller unit and be able to add one battery kind of, or do I need to go with the AC200L that has better battery capacity? And I'm just gonna go to that real quick. There's only one battery that can work with the smaller Bluetti, the AC180, and the AC200L, there are a few batteries that can work, and we're just gonna go real quick. Right here, scalability. You can expand up to two B210s, one B230, or two B300s, or two B300Ks. So there's a lot of battery options for this one. So this one is very interesting to me. And then also when you go to the batteries, we will go there real quick, expansion batteries. You'll notice, we're just gonna go to the big boy here, that there are extra ports on the battery. So you have the ability to plug things in directly to the battery and not all power stations and extra batteries have that. The EcoFlow extra batteries don't have ports on them. So that makes it a little bit interesting. All right, so I did come across one other option and I'm gonna try to brief through this one really quick. Pecron is another brand I was looking at. And up top here, you'll see the E2400 LFP, the E3600 LFP, and then there's one more unit uh, price-wise, which is what I was interested in. We're gonna go to that now, the E1500 LFP. $619, 2200 watt output, 1500 watt hours. And this one was really interesting to me because this is uh, one of the options that has the Bluetooth app. Not all of these Pecron options have the Bluetooth app. So keep that in mind when you're shopping. And this is expandable as well. And what's really interesting about this one is that expandable up to 7,600 watt hours. So that is quite a lot. We're gonna go to that battery really quick. And it is going to be, where did it go? right here all right so this one is interesting because you can daisy chain these by quite a few and notice the price 900 dollars. so each battery is going to be a little bit different but this is kind of the cheapest uh expandable battery and it is 3000 watt hours so that's another thing is that each battery expansion option from different brands is going to be different sizes so pay attention to that as well but here's just a quick shot of two additional batteries hooked up to one of their units this is the e1500 all right i showed you a lot of units i'm looking at three brands and i'm having a hard time deciding the EcoFlow i like because they seem to have a lot of accessory items that you can add down the line if that's the direction you wanna go. And I really like that. And then Bluetti, I like because they seem to be slightly cheaper on the product line. It does have battery expandability and then their battery expansion options do have extra ports on them, which is also really nice. They both offer pretty good apps. Uh, the third option, Pecron, 
again, undercutting those last two options. So I'm considering them as well. But the one thing I keep coming back to with the EcoFlow is that smart generator option. I really like the idea that you might be able to set up a generator that can turn off and on on its own. Very interesting. So this way you don't have to monitor it or if you're away from your unit so you're unable to start it, stop it on your own. You can do this and you can control it through Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, so you don't even have to be home as long as your Wi-Fi has power. Very interesting. So if you're cross shopping these three brands or if you have any of these three brands and you have a recommendation for somebody who's just getting started and maybe some down the road things you've learned that you can pass on to me, Please share any comments and any direction you think I should go with. And then I'll let you guys know what I end up uh, picking up. And then I guess we can start doing some testing at that point. All right. Well, thanks for going down that rabbit hole with me, guys. I appreciate it. I'm just trying to be more prepared and take you down this journey with me in case you're trying to be more prepared. Thanks.